Hi Virgo, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. And this reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Virgo. We're gonna take a look at the cards and get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional messages. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for the awareness for the week, we have the Hermit, Major Arcana. So the Hermit is encouraging you to slip away and to get away from the crowds and to make some time for yourself. And with this time, it's a good idea to look within, to think about what's going on in your life, what have you been doing recently? Where do you think you're headed to? And just kind of reflect and to contemplate, maybe to meditate. This sense of touching base with yourself is going to, really with the lantern here, you're illuminating some truthfulness perhaps. You're, you're seeking answers from within. And when you have a better sense of self, it can help direct you as you move forward. So there's a real call for you to retreat from the busyness, the chaos and everything, and to try to carve out a little place for yourself to reflect, to take time to think about what is going on. So then we have the King of Cups. And he is the king of emotions. He knows exactly the right amount to apply to any situation and comes from a place of love, of compassion, sympathy, empathy. He's aware, he's sensitive, he uh, is approachable. And so this is uh, someone who is very much a master of of having just the right emotional touch and um, presence. So often we think of the King of Cups as someone in the healing industry, someone who is loves the arts and culture and creativity. And you know, with this water energy, it's a sense of giving credence and making your emotions important, not holding them back expressing them as needed, telling people how you feel. So you may be in a position, if you're single, perhaps you're dating someone who's like a king of cups who would be romantic, thoughtful, sensitive, dreamy. Or you're benefiting from this type of energy with someone, someone who is supportive, someone who's a great listener, someone who is just simply kind and gentle. And perhaps these are attributes that you are sharing or applying or giving to someone else. Ooh, okay. So we have the Nine of Pentacles in, uh, for your guidance. And so this woman here is sitting in her garden. She has a garden full of grapes and flowers and abundance and, of course, all those pentacles. She has the bird, the falcon, on her gloved hand. So first of all, we get a sense of comfort and the abundance and the wealth or security that she's created. And perhaps she's had to be disciplined or to show 
independent thought, making good decisions, putting in the hard work to get to this place. And this place represents um, an abundant home, an abundant place where she's comfortable being outside and is finding enjoyment in hobbies or pastimes. So along with the message of it may take sacrifice, it may take discipline in order to create the abundance within your life. But all work and no play is a drag. So as you are luxuriating in your comforts of your home or your space or your place, don't forget to have fun. Don't forget to bring pleasure into your life, to, you know, uh, have your hobbies. Life is short and enjoy it. And this is a card of, of independence and success of accomplishment. So good things coming your way. And then we have an offering of love here. Page of Cups, sincere, earnest, youthful, wants the experiences, wants the connection, wants to have the spark, feel the love, show the love, express the love. On a practical level, you could be meeting somebody. You have an offer if you're single and looking. If you're in a relationship, you may be telling someone how you feel. The Page of Cups is this very gentle representation of emotions and sensitivities. And so you may be expressing how you feel, how you care for someone. You might feel the love or the spark after meeting someone, like maybe in an ordinary place, like at the grocery store. And you may feel the love for an activity or a place, but there's a sense here of your heart beating quicker, of the excitement. And so this youthful energetic of show me the ways of the world page, show me the ways of love, how to love, how to be expressive, how to be kind and genuine. And quite frankly, you know, the King of Cups, he's mastered it. He's on the way up, he's learning. But he is, he is the king. He knows, he knows how to treat people. He's gaining experience. But again, this can be an offering, an opportunity. You may meet somebody, uh, the little fish, a symbol of creativity, of being creative. Perhaps you meet someone at the, you know, the art night or the gallery. Okay, let me pull these down. Let's pull some cards here. Okay, so we have, in terms of possible outcomes, we have a message of temperance, of finding balance, of integrating all the aspects of your life, physical, mental, spiritually, Blending in everything so that you don't spill the water from these cups here. Uh, dipping a toe in the water, and again, dipping a toe or having a toe on land, it is the marriage between the physical sense and the emotional or spiritual self. It's also a sense of, of listening to the universe as well and our spirit guides and our angels who are also sending messages and signals. So in terms of possible outcomes is to don't overdo things this week. You know, play it down the middle, be temperate, be moderate, but don't overindulge. Don't swing wildly from one end to the other. You know, keep yourself in balance. The balance will help you. So uh, not to overdo it. And then here is the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is studying that pentacle outside in nature where she loves to be. This could be a very simple message to you to get yourself out in nature, to nurture yourself, your sanity, your health. 
find support or provide support. The queen is very loving and considerate of others and reaches out. So you may need some support. You may need some uh, focus on practical and sensible thinking and sensible ways, common sense, groundedness. Um, the groundedness certainly would be a nice compliment, <clears throat> excuse me, to temperance, which is about maintaining equilibrium and maintaining the right mix of all of the elements of your life. She is resourceful. She has a pretty good handle on multitasking and taking care of all the things that are necessary. She also has a lot of abundance, similar to this Nine of Pentacles. Very capable with family, you know, again, work, career, relationships. So we see this real strong component for you this week of a focus on relationships, a focus on emotions and capabilities and thinking for yourself, but also being independent and enjoying what you have, the abundance, not overdoing it. Okay, so let's see what we have for a focus area or meditation point for the week. Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is the highest good. So again, focusing on the highest good, purpose, being authentic, not letting fear restrict you. Um, fear can help, help you evolve and help you grow but always focusing on what's, you know, what's the best aspect of, you know, your life, who is your highest self. This is spirit or emotional self. Trust. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. So trust in your decisions, trust in the reflection that you pull from your time alone. And, uh, you know, this is trusting that you may not always follow the same path that everybody else does, that believe in yourself, again, have faith. And finally, let's choose a card of love. Children, your love life is being affected by children. So for some of you, this may resonate that, gosh, our children really do direct a lot of the decisions in the household and the activities and, and making sure your child is uh, doing well in school and doing things after school, perhaps, or being the best person that they can be. Children play an enormous role in our relationships and in our lives. So for those that have children, you probably can relate to this uh, very clearly. For those that don't, could be, uh, you know, other children somehow coming through. I am going to pick another card. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So that is interesting. Work on your partnership. 
particularly with the offering of love here with the Page of Cups, with the self-work, which might give you insight into doing a nice job in your relationship, and the Page of Cups of working with someone who is experienced in love and, you know, taking the time to ensure that the relationship is going to have a chance. So this is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here today. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. That's always appreciated, and I thank you so much. Have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.